Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thank you to everyone who's been watching. And I have uh, a message along with a wish that everyone have a happy Mother's Day. Um, there's a little bit more I have to talk about though. The message is get ready to take your keys out of the third and fourth dimension plug it into the fifth dimension and get ready to start your engines. That's the message. And yet, for some of us, it might be easier said than done. I have a lot of people that I speak with. I sort of feel like a hub uh, because I do speak to so many people. I do have a different perspective, but this enables me to share and sort of give you a general overview. I'm not here to resolve every problem here in my videos. There's, you know, this would, you know, take too much time. And all of you are so unique that the challenges in your Twin Flame Union are things that you chose and that will also help you grow and expand. And I know that sounds like, you know, something you'd stitch on a pillow. I mean, frankly, some of us are very tired. We're soul tired, but I want to let you know that you've made it through the Grand Cardinal Cross. These energies were very similar to uh, the Harmonic Convergence back in 1987. Not a lot of people perceived it then, but people who did and have been waiting and moving things, uh, you're about to step into it. What this also does is you're going to see in general that people around you will start feeling things. Um, that they, they might have some symptoms that they can't really identify. And you might know what it is, but I want to let you know this is getting easier and easier and easier. And uh, it's important to keep the faith, to trust, because there have been things moved out of your way, obstacles moved, huge obstacles, and all it takes is uh, just some, you know, of your perseverance and trusting that you'll get through it. Now, uh, some of the things I want to talk to you about are, yes, having to do with being a mother and the mother energy. Now, the divine feminine energies that come in with these cardinal cross energies, and then, you know, you sometimes hear the astrologers say, well, this planet's opposing and that one is. What this is is that you're actually being pressurized and pulled apart. You're you and your twin and again everyone is welcome to watch my videos but I speak specifically to twins I am I don't pretend to be an astrologer I am an illumined twin flames which gives me the perspective of these energies these are energetics that I actually integrate into my body I'm aware of them I know what they are I can tell you things about them and yet it's really important not to get too much detail to just sort of trust and you know I might seem like I'm over generalizing but there's a reason for that because too many people are caught up they get distracted on too many other things anyways what we have here is um, the energies have moved things removed obstacles they've scraped you at the molecular level and so your twin will feel it you'll feel it and what do you do with it? Well, in some ways, you're sort of in the backwash. Over the past few days, it's been the backwash. It's like cleaning up after a flood. You're like, oh, there's that thing, there's that thing, there's that thing. And while Mother's Day should be lovely, and I wish everyone to have a lovely Mother's Day, here in the United States, we're celebrating. I know from some friends in England that they celebrated a few weeks back. And yet we are in uh, these energies now where the Divine Feminine is sort of carrying the day and the Masculine is steering. So she's going, she's movement, she's the movement and he's steering. You know, they're like, you know, working in tandem with each other, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And yet it is becoming incumbent on some of the uh, female or feminine twin Divine counterparts to take some actions, you've waited, start taking some, be proactive. That's what I'm here to encourage you to do. And 
how do you, you know, what are we looking at here? Well, some of it he has to, a lot of it he has to do with children now. You might find that children are coming up pretty frequently because it is Mother's Day. You should be honored for being a mother. You also will have challenges from the people around you. Your twin may act childish. Um, your children may feel like they're leaning on your union. And it's important to establish order. It's important to establish time. The prior priority has to be given to your union because you are leaving the third and fourth dimensional level. You're going to the fifth and you create in the sixth. So you are intended to live in a 5D union, in a 5D partnership, in a 5D relationship with other people around you. So some of the tools that you have, you know, like books, parenting, you know, you use these as tools to be able to establish order for your family, to be able to have time with your twin. You need time together. You need space. You don't need people leaning on your union, even if it's your child. And those children many times are the last of the clearing of the bloodlines through the genetic lineage here. And that's to clear out diseases, um, chromosomal anomalies. You wish it away. And many of us, when we had the children, we had no idea what we were getting. And everyone said, well, it's a roll of the dice. Well, on another level, this was actually us knowing that we were clearing certain bloodlines. We needed certain things to come to us to revisit it in order to pop it out and clear it. Some of us are still doing that. Sometimes we will have a lovely relationship with the children. Sometimes the children just come in. Some people act like they're spawning salmon and they just, you know, kind of go along merrily and then there you are. You've got another karmic debt with another person. And these feelings will come up. The feelings may feel like, I love this child, child so much, this is my lost child, all the way to the other end of the spectrum of, why did I have this child? I wish I could give it back. And it's important for us to stay in the middle, to catch your balance. Get to the middle as soon as you can because regardless if that child is a part of your union, whether it's a stepchild, whether it's your own biological child, an adopted child, the child is there um, because it was a higher level choice of your soul. So uh, I actually found this book because this is a good reminder. Crap at, crap at my parents' house. Now, a lot of us feel like, well, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with all the stuff right now. You know, stuff comes up and I just have to deal with it. What do you do? This is what you do. You are the divine feminine. And I don't care if you're in a man body, a woman body, if you're gay, lesbian, transgender, everybody. You've been a mother in some life. You either birthed the babies, took in the babies, you raised a pet, you have nieces and nephews that you watch, you are a coach or something like that. And yeah, I could get into that on Father's Day, but we're here now with these energies of being a divine parent. You are pulling in your entire soul here to live at this level. You're here at this physical level to use the physical tools like talk therapy, um, anger management, uh, going to some type of a meeting to help with some assistance. And you are here to guide your children as well as your, you are the one getting the guidance. So you have to deliver that and deliver it with a good bedside manner. And you'll find that sometimes your twin comes around. Well, what do you do with this childish behavior? Do you just say, well, there it is. They're just acting like this. It's not for this lifetime. That no more excuses. That actually in and of itself is a limiting belief because we've moved into the energies now where this has been made possible. It's been made possible for everyone to have a divine counterpart and everyone to have the return of their soul. And I just want you to know that my own personal philosophy is 
is when I first read some of that stuff uh, nine years ago, and I would say, how could it be a special dispensation for your soul to come back to you? And while I can understand that there's lessons to learn and there's maybe other places, parallel lives, you are actually in the position where you can collapse those parallel lives and pull it here. You can pull your entire soul here because this is the place where we are doing the templating and the blueprint. A blueprint for a new light body and the template of new relationships. This is a gift that Twin Flames are giving to everyone who was invited here chose to come. Now, there is a thing to be said about being with relatives and being with family. Your angel body, your angelic parts, your senses, your senses are heightened. Many of you have worked very hard on being able to manage yourself, and I applaud you. Here's the thing. When you're around people in your family, things may seem amplified. And it's okay to set your boundaries. It's, it is actually incumbent on you to start speaking up. Say something. Say, hey, uh, like what happened to me at the uh, workout place the other day. There I was exercising and the people in front of me were referring to women as broad. Okay, that's where some people are at. And then that's the duality. People might seem like they're talking out of both sides of their mouth, where they love their mom, they love their wife, and yet every other person on the planet is this. That's the separation. That's the duality. So what do you do with that? Unfortunately, I did nothing, but I thought about it after, and I said, you know, if that situation presents itself, because it hurt my feelings, I'm just going to say you know what, talking that way kind of hurts my feelings. Did you really think about what you're saying? A lot of people don't. Maybe they just need to hear it. You have to gauge this, though, because you don't really want to fight with someone. But you should also trust that the truth of your words, because you are connected to source, is coming through. And people will hear what you're saying with your heart. And that goes for your twin. That goes for your boss, that goes for anybody that's around you, your children, that they will hear the truth in your words. And so when you do have your children, and let's say you're in a relationship that's not your twin relationship, you have kids. This is coming up very frequently. Help the children accept not only who you are as a twin flame, but who they are too. Talk to them about being angelic. Ask them what they remember, maybe from past lives. Ask them who they are. What do they know about themselves? Um, I myself have a child, and we've had some really interesting conversations, and he said some amazingly profound things, and then he's a little boy again, and you'll find that. We're kind of doing this dance here. You know, we're one foot in the next world, one foot here, one foot in the next world. And you'll find that true with your twin, too. They may say the most amazing things, and then because they are still adjusting, they're conscious, they're still connecting to the universal mind. And so maybe the mental body is still distracted with some stuff. You'll find that sometimes they will say one thing that's so sweet and profound, and then the very next thing out of their mouth is something very mundane. And there it is. And you have to be patient and gentle. And you be the mom. Be the mom. Be the parent. Establish time to be with your twin. You start now. You don't wait until your twin shows up and then lock the door and lock the children out. That is not actually um, going to be healthy for everyone. What you want to do is sort of ease into it in a healthy situation. You turn off the, I'm sorry, my TV's here. You turn off the TV, you turn off the electronic devices, you get some quiet. Maybe you invite the children to meditate with you. Maybe you also um, have a quiet time or you talk to each other about each other. I feel this, I dreamt this last night. You be the parent by, you establish order in the household, you establish time management. This is not an easy thing to do. We have very stressful, chaotic, frenetic lives these days, most of us, particularly those of us that live in an urban environment. 
there's noises, there's distractions, there's other people, you're in close proximity, and it's hard to take these quiet times. But you might have to change the pattern, otherwise you just wind up with the same thing. You wind up with crap from my parents' house. You don't want the crap from your parents' house. It cannot coexist within your 5D twin flame royal angelic union. You're here to make love and be the love, but in order to do that, you need your physical bodies together. So you start now. You start also if identifying things. If you need something, if you're having an off date, if you're the only one in your house feeling these energies, or we get to the full moon here, you're making your wishes, and then we get on the back side, and you're, you're going like, whoa, that was a bumpy ride. And mommy doesn't feel okay. Then mommy has to say it. Mommy has to speak up and say, mommy doesn't feel okay. This is a, a, an exercise in unconditional love. Because you sometimes have to be the one to trust that your family can take care of themselves without you. And that was actually an exercise um, that I saw in Sylvia Brown's book that I tried it. And I, I didn't say a word. I didn't say anything about the messes. I didn't say anything about what people had to do. And you know what? Things got done. People stepped up. Um, it, it was still harmonious. I just stopped myself from, you know, burning my teeth and just, it, after the first day or two, you kind of, you relax into it. And it's important that other people work on their own strengths. They are here also to connect with their soul purpose. And that is why you're guiding the children. The children in many cases are also transitioning. If they're an indigo transitioning, you got a challenge on your hand. And just this week, I stopped a fight at my son's school, and I didn't touch anyone. I just went and said, hey, and I asked the boy his name, which calmed him down. But then I said, did you learn that at home? Is that appropriate behavior? And he said no, and, you know, it just went on its way. It just needed to dissipate because he's not a bad kid. Kids aren't bad kids. But what you do see in the media are people that are a part of all that is they came here. They do not remember their uh, who they are, and they are disconnected from their own hearts, and they are disconnected from their soul purpose, their soul purpose, who they are, why they're here, why they came here. This is particularly um, challenging for mothers because... They throw up their hands and they're like, God help us. Well, guess what? You're the God and goddess who have to help the children. Little by little. And you don't take it all on your plate. You have to find the help. Seek the help. Maybe it's nutritional supplements. Maybe it's changing your diet. Maybe it's more time at the park and less time laying around. Maybe it's different friends. Maybe it's saying no. Because children need the safety of these boundaries. And what does mommy need? Mommy needs order. She needs time management. She needs respect. She needs to be honored. And moms, all the moms, male, female, you name it. Because many of us have families that we're, we're coming back together with our true soul family. And we're identifying these people. So it can be in any type of family. It can be two women, it can be two men, it can be male and female, and uh, there's all types of families, but what we're bound together is with the love, and we are here to be the love. And um, what I will also say is that some of the karma with the children is interrelated damage to what we ourselves have experienced. So it actually helps us get the last of it out, it, either for you or your twin. If you get a crystal child, please understand that the crystal child, the crystal children, actually are direct conduits. They don't have the karma and the soul damage that other people have. 
So you can have a mixed bag of children in your family. And it's important to, you know, get the help for the ones that need the help so that you can have peace in your union because you are being prepared to step into it. Make some decisions, take some actions, take the actions that you can. Your soul is working with the physical tools to get out of this physical world. And the last thing I'm going to say is that you and your children have an agreement. But what you want to do is throw out the old agreements and establish new. You do this on a higher level with your higher self and the child's higher self. And you say, we've concluded our own agreement. You have to get off my union. I will still parent you. I love you. I've taken on the responsibility of loving you. You need to respect and love me back. We do love each other somewhere at home, but it needs to be here. And this is a way that you do it from a higher level so that you can establish uh, the time and the space that you need with your twin. If there is a co-parent or what is sometimes referred to as the baby mama, the baby daddy, the, the parent of the child. Make peace with that person. Thank them for their role in the child's life. You start at a higher level. You talk to their higher self and you say, the Cold War needs to stop. And, and we're coming up to this full moon. So this is, this is some of the stuff that you can do. The Cold War stops. We're, we're coming into the flower and the blossom time here in the Northern Hemisphere. So um, please know that if you have no children and your twin does, the agreement was made on a higher level and you can speak to those children. Get to know them in their spiritual self because you are actually meeting them in the fifth dimension so that you can physically have a relationship that's peaceful, harmonious, respectful, it honors you and love. It's the love because you and your twin are the love here. You're here to be the love. You're gifting things to these people around you. Even if they glare at you, you're like, hey, you don't need to glare at me. I actually have a gift of love and a template here. You go over there with that. That's what you say to these people. So everyone have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.